the arts and therapy are a timeless continuity, mm -hmm. and that uh, this notion of using art and healing mm -hmm. isn't new. Yeah. And when I started by accident working in the area of mm -hmm. art therapy, expressive arts therapy, it was in March of 1970, I dropped out of law school, I was committing my life to art, and I accidentally found myself doing this work, and it was, it was, uh, it was a perfect fit with what we might call core values that I held, about art and service of others, art and society, um, a, a community sense of uh, creative expression, and things grew, things grew fast, and. Mm -hmm. And, and, and with great force because there was such interest in this in the society. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and the way I was articulating it there was art-based, not just using, as art and psychology had previously existed, where, where images were used as printouts of the psyche, supposed mm -hmm. printouts of the psyche, I think very falsely interpreted mm -hmm. uh, to say that if you paint this, it means this, and as I used to say, anything you paint can and will be used against you. Mm -hmm. So it was a thoroughly psychopathological approach to art, mm -hmm. it's thoroughly reductionistic, and I, I had this vision of art as a, as, a, as a core healing force. When I wrote about the arts and shamanism, that at that point, the arts and therapy were being viewed as adjunctive mental health disciplines, mm -hmm. you know, secondary. And yeah. I said, no, we're primary. We're mm -hmm. as primary as psychology, we're as primary as, as medicine. Um, what made you want to study art therapy? Um, well, as a kid I always drew and I went to art classes a lot. Um, my parents always had us doing art and going to museums and stuff, so I was always really interested in art. And I went through a really hard time, like beginning in fifth grade through high school. And I realized that art was a good outlet for me to be to express myself with. And in high school I had several experiences um, where I used art as a tool to assess my personal needs mm -hmm. and I, I went through a lot of things in high school that really affected me in a lot of very emotional ways and point blank the art process definitely helped me throughout these uh, experiences that I had. <laughs> What are people's reactions when you say you're studying art therapy? They don't understand it. They, they think it comes from an outside source and they think it comes from um, other people analyzing um, a patient or a client's artwork or the therapist analyzing someone else's artwork and um, that actually is totally opposite of the true philosophy and the true nature of art therapy um, because uh, when we apply our own analysis to other people's work, it just destroys it. Um, so, art therapy um, is basically the process of creating images about how you feel and what you're experiencing as a human being. So, I asked my friends and fellow art therapy students to show some of their artwork and explain the process. There's this, um, I wrote on it um, because poetry and it helps me get things on the page in words and then I have ribbon that I sewed um, on it and that took a long time it was um, very therapeutic to go with it the whole time and keep going and have it um, have it be difficult but still have like the process and um, and then I have this kind of person curled up, curled up in a womb. I woke up one morning and this came out of me, which um, is the response to the first piece. And this image is where I want it to be the whole time. This, this is the, the, um, the calm after the storm, so to speak, and if you put them together, I don't know if, that, if, I don't know if this makes any sense, but when I look at it, it just makes visual sense, and it was the perfect resolution to uh, the leftover pieces of glass, and um, 
they work as a whole, but this is where I really want to be as an artist, as a person in my life. Um, and I tend to just let my images speak for themselves in a lot of ways. There's so many things that I could tell you about both of these pieces, but um, the other piece is just for the viewer to sit with it and to, um, you know, make their own meaning of it for themselves, you know. How has your work as an art therapist influenced your art making? And I got caught up in minimalism, making these simplest, these huge paintings with one stripe across them. Mm -hmm. And I went into the work as an art therapist in the mental hospital where people were making this thoroughly, use the word authentic, mm -hmm. to talk about uh, things that you value. Yeah. Authentic art not connected to trends in any way that, mm. uh, that were just, my eyes were popping out with the quality of the images that I was seeing by artists in the mental hospital. Mm. So I saw this quality and this authenticity and I saw my cerebral, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I thought it was attractive, yeah. uh, art that was New York. It was the mm. latest trends. It yeah. wasn't me in the world and them and my place. And, and so, to make a uh, to get to the quick of the question, mm -hmm. those patient artists had a huge impact on my painting. And you just look at the history of my art, and you see how they, it, Stamos still, mm -hmm. the qualities of abstract expressionism, color composition, yeah. movement, gesture, freedom that he taught me, and beauty. Mm -hmm. uh, but but the authenticity of the patient artists. So they 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 turned me around 360. Mm -hmm. And I'm still, I'm still enamored uh, by the images that they made. I feel like a lot of times um, people don't see art therapists or students of art therapy as um, having any value um, as an artist. Um, generally speaking, um, I feel like people assume that my work isn't as good as my counterparts that attend AIB. And I, I just don't believe this at all. I, I don't find this to be true. I, I can't separate um, my artist self from my actual self. And I, I consider myself to be an artist. Um, I make the work. Um, I attend studio classes. I, I may not be graduating with an art degree, but I don't feel like a person necessarily needs to go to art school to be an artist. And I feel like it's just your lifestyle that speaks for itself. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting because in one of my studio classes, uh, one of my professors actually told me, why aren't you a studio art major? What, what, why are you an art therapy major? What are you doing? And I, I was sort of taken back by this and like slightly offended because I'm doing what I love and I'm loving what I'm doing here and there's no reason for me to pursue it in any other way and I don't know, I just felt like there's no separation between artists and art therapists. Adding the therapist piece to the artist really just enriches the experience of the artist and the art making process and um, it's just, it's just a deeper level of reflecting on your own work, is how I see it. The thing goes with arts and psychotherapy. It's a stronger discipline if we can honor the psychological aspect, the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the multiple dimensions of the artistic aspect, uh, the, the spiritual aspects, the historical aspect, yeah. all, all the different pieces coming together. Yeah. You get this tyranny of singularity. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happened in the split between is it art alone or is it psychology? Of course, it's both. It's, yeah. it, it, and it's, it's more than both. Mm. Its appeal is its ability to integrate. Yeah. The creative process, psychology, which is so attractive to people, and an and, 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 and experience of the self with others. But I don't want to overlook the dark, pathological dimensions of psychotherapy practice, healing work, and art, mm -hmm. the deep dark places. And I think that, the, and, and I know from my experience that the deepest healing comes when we can open to those dark places and use the creative process to transform them into affirmations of life. Mm -hmm.
the deepest pain becomes the, the fuel uh, for our creative expressions that change the world and have shaped human civilization.